just God, it's amazing. Life is just a marathon, so pace it. Rush pain, that things hate me, damn it. Life ain't gotta be hard, just keep it basic. I'm Gloria Ann Martin with the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, and today we're here with the Fort Meade Command Sergeant Major, Andre Welch, and we're here to talk about the upcoming Army Birthday Run. Thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thank you guys for having me. Hey, welcome. All right. And uh, I, my name is Chuck Yang. I'm just, this is my first time doing this, so uh, just, give, just bear with us. Um, so our Major, welcome again um, for... This topic, we're having an Army birthday. So, what is the significance of celebrating the Army birthday? Wow, the significance. Well, it's just a um, opportunity to basically uh, to celebrate and show the appreciation and respect to uh, all the past, you know, what I'm saying service members that have served in the military, in the Army, as well as currently serving, you know, what I'm saying in the military Army. So, it's just showcasing that. Hey, we, this we're 248th birthday, and so that's the significant. Just, just celebrating that Army pride, that esprit de corps, that 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 togetherness, that brother and sisterhood. It's a big deal. What about? Um, can you tell us about how Fort Meade is celebrating it? Well, Fort Meade this year, um, we we just changed it up from last year. We're we're going to do that Army birthday run, right? And that's tradition that across pretty most all installations, you're going to have either the installation of or units on that installation uh, celebrating on the Army birthday. And so this year, Fort Meade, we're going to start kick it off with a, a run, um, three, a short 3.5 miles, oh. right? Short. A short 3.5 <laughs> miles. And then later in, um, in the afternoon at during lunch time frame over at the Warrior Restaurant, we're going to do a cake cutting um, ceremony, which again, that's another tradition um, that the Army does. Uh, mm -hmm. to celebrate uh, the, the Army's birthday. There's other odd things that that most other uh, installations possibly may do, and you'll see Big Army, they may do the Army Ball, uh, things in that is, and things of that nature. Um, last year we did a Heritage ob Observance, just again showcasing um, the history of the Army. Mm -hmm. Why are we doing a run out of all things? Why? Because we like to get out and run. I, mm -hmm. You know how that the old saying is, we do so much before 9 o'clock when people still sleep type deal. Sure. And, and plus running, if, if you do a lot of studies on running, um, at first it gives you, even though it's tiresome, mm -hmm. and may, you may be tired, but it's, it's relaxing. Um, it's, it's a mental exercise as well as just a physical exercise. And the endorphins that you do, that you burn off and gain and so forth through a run, Throughout the rest of that day, you know, what I'm saying from a mental standpoint, you just feel refreshed. You feel better um, about yourself. And then you start looking good too, as well. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> you, you brought the the good good point about that. Army does a lot more before nine o'clock, <laughs> and now now for the new slogan, well, for old timers like me and you, it's an old slogan, but it brought it, Army brought it back up. It says, "Be all you can be." Um, what is what does that mean to? Uh, the new listeners. Well, well, first, I joined in 1996. So I joined with the slogan of Be All You Can Be, right? And so Be All You Can Be, for me at that time, was it, I don't know, it's just, hey, it's you, whatever you put your drive into um, yourself, you can make it as how, how you want to make it. And it's really, a, it's, it's a self-initiated type thing. Yes, you're going to have different leaders in your formation as that should help you on your journey, but it's really about you, really what you're trying to get out of, you know what I'm saying, the, the service, uh, what you are trying to get out of. Some people join, you know what I'm saying, to just get a civilian education. Hey, they're going to do that four-year commitment, and while they're doing that four-year commitment, they're going to get some civilian um, education. Some, it's just about giving back, right, giving back to service. They want to do 20 years and so forth. So people en en enlist for different reasons, but it's really about, what you want to be, and that's why it's be all you can be. Right. And that for the new listeners coming in, and I know we done changed a couple of times with our slogan, I think us going back to this slogan is keeping it simple. It's, 
if you can just let that resonate on what do you want to be? Because the Army, the Army specifically out of all the services, is a service that you can be anything. This, the Army has every job that you can think of. Mm -hmm. You want to be a cook? You can be a cook. You want to fly planes? You can do that. It, it, it has everything. So what do you want to be? That's true. Right. And I think that uh, the thing is that be all you can be also means that there's countless opportunities in the Army, whether you want to be in the IT side or you want to be in the infantry or anything that you want to be. Uh, there's opportunities that are out there for you to take advantage. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's countless. It's limitless, honestly, is again. And, and, and it's for that individual. Um, and sometimes it does take the leader to, to push a, a soldier one way or the other, you know what I'm saying? Um, but ultimately, like you said, Chuck, it's, it's, it's limitless opportunities out there and there's tons of programs that the military offers, the Army offers to, to allow you to achieve whatever that goal you put in place. Mm -hmm. What does Be All of You Can Be mean to you now as a Sergeant Major? Oh, I, it, it just allowed me to be me, right? So I think... A great question <laughs> because even though I think I wrote something down I, every time I think about that um, in terms of what it means to me first off I, I personally think I haven't changed since I joined right in terms of my approach how I approach people how I talk to people the whole nine yards I haven't changed I've been me um, but the 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 military has has been great for me and my family. Um, the places that it sent me, um, the leaders that I was exposed to, um, it just allowed me a great opportunity to do a lot of things. It did take me initially, um, when I first joined and I went over to Germany, a senior leader told me and forced me to go to college, at least take a class. I took that class, mm -hmm. right? I probably wouldn't have taken it without that stern direction, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But it, it, it pushed me on that path where now, me being all I can be, me achieving some of my goals that I possibly initially didn't think I could achieve, where I could leave the, the military and say, hey, I have an associate's, I have a bachelor's, I have a master's, I have these particular certifications. I had the opportunity, you know what I'm saying, to lead countless, you know what I'm saying, of soldiers on from enlisted to even officers. When I was in trade I was, you know what I'm saying, a battalion CSM, in charge of all of our brand new officers joining the military, right? And being able, being able to be a mentor to some of those individuals and so forth. So it just allowed me to share some of my um, experiences. And, and again, it just afforded me the opportunity to, for so many different things. Um, so I, I don't know, it just, I don't know. That's, I think I, I may have answered that question, but I don't know. <laughs> Hey, I, think you're, so. yep, I think you already touched on the next question we're going to ask that or how's uh, the outlook on the Army changed the perspective of the potential future soldiers about the Army. Uh, and, yeah, so go ahead. And, right, yeah, the, and the, with the slogan changing and going back to just being all you can be, I think it just made it simple. It's not like Army of One, like what does that mean? Okay, Army Strong, okay, what does that mean, mm -hmm. right? But be all you can be is like what do you want to be, right? Here's a list, and it's up to you to be all you can be. And that's how you would apply yourself, right? And yes, you're going to need those leaders to assist you right. along the way. But as long as you have some form of nugget of what path that you're trying to walk, um, there's tons of military programs in place to help you achieve that goal. Yeah. And, and I think the Army leadership is going the right direction by taking the big priority is people first absolutely taking care of the people family so you can be all you can be right. without having that stress with your family yes. or marriage at the end of the day we know the army know the mission is going to take care of itself the mission is going to get done right but we can't accomplish the mission without our people and so that's why you got to think people first and and keep that at the forefront of your mind because if your soldiers even civilians and so forth when I say even but I'm just saying we know most of our organizations are like 50-50 or 90-10 you know what I'm saying in terms of the civilian population versus the army population but um, 
when you're taking care of your people, you know what I'm saying, then your people is going to take care of you. And that means taking care of the mission. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, yeah. Um, well, we're reflecting on all that and thinking back on your Army career so far. What advice would you give yourself? What advice would you give young soldiers? Okay. Great question. Because it's, like it's like a different type of question. It's like a two-part question when I look at that, at, at that question. Because when... I, if I'm being honest about myself, right, and I look back on my career, things or advice that I would have taken or told myself is when me and my brother, because my brother George was in the military, he came in maybe six months before I, I came in. He just retired um, last year. Um, around the 2002 time frame, 2003 time frame, me and him was talking about going war and all. And we talked about it, talked about it, but we never did anything to make any action, right? So the advice to, I, to myself, I would have told myself 20 years ago, because now it's 2023, is drop your warrant packet. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Staff well. Exactly. Drop your warrant packet, right? And it's not because I don't, I'm, I'm a command sergeant major. Not mm -hmm. only just a command sure. sergeant major. So I, I, I've been blessed, right, from the enlisted side. So I can't complain not one bit. The only reason I bring that up and I, t I say that is because at some point you're going to take this uniform off and so I'm not caring for soldiers and my civilians in my formation. Mm -hmm. I'm caring for my family, right? And one of the things that we all know when caring for your family, you need finances, right? You need your money, right? Sure. You, you, want, you want to be sure. part, positioned well. And so I never thought about this until I started transitioning or thinking, going through tap services, start looking at, it. man, Look at this pay chart. <laughs> As a warrant officer, CW4 or whatever versus a sergeant major, I was like, man, all right, I made a bad choice. <laughs> so I'm just being honest. So I would advise myself to uh, to to probably me to go warrant. But again, everybody's different. Like everybody's not cut out to be an officer. Everybody's not cut out to be enlisted. So same thing when it comes to warrant officer. So really, when it comes to the the, the junior soldiers coming in, it's really just doing a self-evaluation you got to be honest with yourself right um and what what do you first off what do you want to do and what do you want and that's a hard question to a lot of young folks because they don't know mm -hmm. right um and so if the junior soldiers that are, are coming in and, and I, I which i have talked to some of them and and tried to steer them in the right direction of course the enlisted guys we want soldiers to re-enlist re-enlist but at the same time, I do not mind working for a sharp, smart behind, not mind, you want to work for a sharp, smart behind officer, right? Because those are the ones sure. that lead you in a fight sure. that's going to direct you left and right. And the officers coming in out of, and through college, they're going to be bright and smart and so forth. But I don't know those guys. Mm -hmm. It's the enlisted folks that's in your footprint. Mm -hmm that you may see and that, that advice and if I see someone that's that I feel that man this this guy or gal could be a great officer wouldn't mind it I would tell them hey you might want to think and consider dropping the, mm -hmm. that OCS package mm -hmm. now it's not to say other enlisted guys are not cut out to be such and such because some of the enlisted guys you see as great just leaders of soldiers mm -hmm. right and great teachers because when you start talking about the NCO Corps, you those those individuals are teachers, right? Mm -hmm. Because they're 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 crafting that newer generation, they're crafting that that workforce, you know what I'm saying, so that they can just leave them to be and they can be out on their own and so forth. And so you have that type of um uh, individual as well. So the advice it really depends on the individual I'm talking to, um, because I won't give the same advice to all. Right, so the advice I give to you may be slightly different than you, and so that's the thing. Is is the advice I personally give may be different to the individual, but the advice I just give to all in general: try to find yourself first and get a good understanding of what you want to be. What you what are you trying to get out of the military? Right. Well, you, even though you didn't go to Warren side, I think you you've done be all you can be <laughs> in your enlisted side. I, I tried, I tried, I tried, I, I tried, yeah. Um, so, uh, is there anything else that 
you want the audience to know, not just the younger generation, uh, but people who have you served, um, who maybe you are going to serve in the future, but uh, any other advice for... Uh, no, uh, I mean, nothing jumps out at me right now um, in, in terms of, I mean, we are in the, what, 20th century, what do you call it, 21st century, mm -hmm. and it's 2023, 2024 is knocking on our door, and so I, I just think if people just advice to be just open-minded, you know what I'm saying, um, uh, listen, you know what I'm saying, um, when it comes to when you're in environments and you may feel that people maybe are critical of you or or you made a mistake and and just try to learn from those mistakes and grow as an individual, you know what I'm saying? Um, because I, I'm a true believer that people don't come to work to screw up, right? A lot of times sure. it's, they just really don't know. And so I, I just say that in terms of just being open-minded, being, t take criticism or... Uh, What's that word I'm looking for in terms of just be willing to learn or change or adapt um, to your surroundings. Um, everybody is different. Everybody sees things different. Everybody hears things different. Everybody learns different. You know, and so and because we we in the military we're so different. We're the to me we are the the U.S. right in terms of we we that melting pot. We bring in. Everything we we, mm -hmm. we 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 do everything. I I'm, I'm look, I can't find the words right now, but but um, I just say just just come in with an open mind, um, work with open mind. Don't don't stay in your feelings when things may not be going the right way, um, and when there's if you have ideas or, or just words or things to make things better, voice them. Right, voice them to the boss. If that boss ain't here, to the next boss, or because whatever that is that you're thinking about, and you you you, you feel that it'll help, right? Then you you have to speak up about it, right? No no different in this in your operation in here. Mm -hmm. if there's things that you feel that man, if we tweak this, it would make us even be more efficient and proficient about in our job. If you, if I would, my advice for everyone, regardless of what area that you work in, just always come with that open mindset of how can we get better. Don't sit and re, um, status quo is that's just fine. Always look to tweak and improve your foxhole, and that's it. Great advice. Yeah, I think that's awesome um, and good advice for people coming in and people in now. Uh, well, to bring it full circle, Ami, birthday run. How do people sign up? Well, it's really not a sign up thing. <laughs> it's a voluntary. So, so, it, well, see. right, because if you are Army unit, and I know our Ditmas team is was working on our distro list, most of the Army units should have received the op board identifying mm -hmm. that hey, there's a run, and so there's going to be additional IPRs in terms of. Hey, what time people show up? What time people line up? So if you are in an army organization, you know, um, it, it's it's for the army. It's not for. I, I mean, this is a Sergeant Major Welch call. It wasn't for um, the friends and the families of right. such and such. It was really I was just bringing all the army elements right now. We haven't done a, a installation run in over three and a half years, probably if not longer, right? Um, and so. It was really just wanted to bring in those army units to come in with come out there with their colors, and so there's no sign up roster. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's more so your unit. <laughs> <laughs> you show up. Sure. Hey, and that camaraderie uh, is important. So absolutely, absolutely. And and, and since being we are being a purple installation, is other service invited? I haven't even invited them. You know why? This is why, because later in the year we're going to do our nine eleven run. Right, and right, that's right. going to be an all services sure. run. Um, I wanted this to be about the army, right? right, um, right. I didn't want it to turn into the Marines trying to outshine the army or the Army, Navy, and Air Force. Sure. I, didn't, I didn't want it to turn into that. Right. So I, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. So it was just an army deal. Good spirit of core for the army. Yeah. Yep. Anything else uh, you want to add? Or? No, I think. Uh, 
I think that's all we have for today. Thank you so much for joining us, Sergeant Major. Thank you, Sergeant Major. Well, thank, thank you, guys, for having me. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Having well, me. Well, the Sergeant Major joined the Army in 1996, I believe. Yes. I joined the Army in 1980, so it's going to be way, way back. So I don't even want to bring that part up here. So thank, thanks for joining us. Oh, my God. Well, thank you guys for having me. I all appreciate right. it. I enjoyed this. Well, thank you so much for listening to Fort Meade to Classified. We'll see you next episode. Hold up, I got a new myth. Record your sky, it's amazing. Life is just a marathon, so pace.